Jaguar Nation, welcome to the Jaguar Football Show, where we bring you all the exciting action of the Southern University football program. It's brought to you by Coca-Cola, Louisiana Lottery, Communities of Color Network Tobacco Free Living, Hollywood Casino, the Louisiana Seafood Marketing and Promotion Board, and Jerry Lane Chevrolet. Welcome to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms, where we come to you each week from Hollywood Casino located at 1717 River Road. We invite you to come out Mondays in the neighborhood of 630 and watch the show being taped live. Of course, you can catch us about seven times a week on Cox 1004 and 1013. Uh, in, at your leisure on Facebook and YouTube anytime you want to catch the show. Uh, Coach, let's jump right into it. Uh, but first, I got to tell y'all, Hollywood is having a, an extension of the Southern Homecoming on November 3rd. They're going to be having their uh, 25th anniversary outdoor festival featuring Zydeco music by Chubby Carrier, as well as Dwayne Dopsy and the Zydeco Hellraisers, local food trucks, the Big Peas, the Big Cheesy, Taco De Paco and Rotolos will be here. It's going to be on November 3rd, and you can get that information at Eventbrite or on the Hollywood Casino website, I'm sure. Coach, jumping right into some football, the first home game of the 2019 SWAC season, and the Jaguars beat Prairie View Panthers 34-28. Coach, for me, I thought it was pretty much a statement game. We scored when they scored. We scored when they scored. We threw a couple of knockout punches and thankfully kept scoring because they took those punches and kept trying to come back until the very end. Well, it was a good football game. Two really good teams going head to head. Uh, and like I had said all week, they're an explosive offensive team. But I really thought defensively we had uh, control of the game until we got into the fourth quarter and they hit a couple big plays. But offensively, they answered the bell. Uh, every time we needed a touchdown, our offense went down the field. Special teams uh, played much better. Uh, played, really changed the field position. So I think this year that's a, that's a team win. And I think when you can win as a team and get better in all three phases, you got to like what you saw on Saturday. Coach O, you know, we knew Prairie View was going to come in with a little revenge on their mind after the beatdown we gave them last year at Prairie View. Um, you know, you look at this game and it didn't disappoint. Prairie View came to play. They had more passing yards than us. They had more total yards than us. They had two interceptions on the night. The Panthers really came to play. Yeah, I mean, I, I tell you, they're a good football team, but when you look at two evenly matchups, and most people ask me, Coach, what is it going to take to win a football game? Uh, you, you usually look at turnovers, penalties, and, and effort. And the penalty is where we made up a lot of yards. I think they had 12 penalties for 107 yards, yep. and we had four penalties for 33 yards. It's just that kind of discipline is how you win football games against very good teams. Well, Coach, let's jump into those highlights and show the people exactly what happened on the bluff at A.W. Mumford Stadium. Um, they kick off. Coach, your special teams actually came to play on this night. Uh, not too many mistakes and some great returns with some get great blocking. Well, as you saw right there, that was Chris Chaney uh, starting the game out with great field position for our offense. You see Devin Ben take one for 10, then Skelton's going to take one for 18. Skelton comes back to Brown for nine yards, and then Washington's going to rush for 11 into the end zone. And coach, the offense came out clicking. Anytime you can score on your opening possession, it, it really set the tone for the, uh, for the game. Extra point good by Fontenot. No, we're up 7-0 at this juncture. Good tackle right here by Joe Harris and uh, Benjamin Davis. Coach, I got to give it to you. That young man, Benjamin Davis, came to play all night long. Yeah, I think it's Benjamin Harris and Joe Davis. Joe Davis, you yes. got it. Good run right there. Ultimately, they score. Score is 7 7 at this juncture. Skelton's going to hit uh, Kendrick Jones for eight. He's going to uh, come back. Barajas is actually going to get this punt blocked, and the uh, Panthers are going to recover it. 
Thankfully, your defense was stout, Coach, and we actually got a nice goal line stand right here. It was good, you know, the backs against the wall, spot the ball, uh, guys got to go out there and make a play, and that defense turned them back. Here, uh, um, Skelton gets intercepted. They get the ball back. Ultimately, the uh, Panthers are going to be on the move. You see some great defense right there. We get the ball back. Skelton hits uh, the receiver on the right flank. Skelton's going to drop back again. Does a little pirouette. Gets out. We get another first down right here, Coach. That was a great move by Skelton, Coach. Great. He found T.J. Bedford along the sideline just, just moving the sticks. Washington takes a nifty run up the left side for 14. And then Skelton's going to hit register for three. Jaguars back on the board. Good kick by Fontenot. Jags up 14-7 at this point. A good football game going right now, but we're answering. That's a good hit right there by Tamar Smith. Tamar Smith had a good uh, game for you, Coach. He also had a good interception. Another good hit by Acker, Coach. And just got, guys got to fly around. I mean, I think it's one of those games where you got to force your will on your opponent. Great stop by uh, champion uh, Coach. And Decadian is ha quietly having a good season. Playing very well. Playing very well for the Jags. Skelton's going to get the ball. Hit Mackey for 13. Sims is going to rush for six, get a first down. Skelton's going to rush it for 10 himself. Ultimately, we punt. They get the ball back. Good stop by Caleb Carter. He's having a good season for you, Coach. He answered the bell. Uh, that's a good job of Caleb just coming back. And, you know, he was starting. Then he went to be a backup. Now he's back up competing for that starting job again and uh, he's one of the better players on our defense. Jaguars up at the half when we come back we'll look at the second half on the Jaguar football show with coach Dawson Odoms. Imagine winning five times the cash from the lottery. Imagine winning five times of anything. Robot dance fight. Robot dance fight. Multiply whatever. The new multiplier games from the lottery. Multiply your fun. Cats down by 58 with one minute left. Hey, where's everybody going? This game's not over. So we're not the best. Our kicker stubbed his toe on the ball and Pretty sure our mascot has this costume on backwards. But this, this is our team. No matter what. Come play like a star, where the rewards and thrills never end at Hollywood Casino. Eat, play, and win big from our epic buffet, open from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. every day, to our awesome players club that gives you the most back. Come and play the hot new $64,000 Hollywood High Low Game on Fridays from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. You could be called to play. Just guess that the next card will be higher or lower, and you could win. Only at Hollywood Casino, Baton Rouge. Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Coach, up 14-7 to seven at the halftime. What do you tell your team in a tough game like this at the half to keep them focused? Well, we talked about we left some plays out there in the first half that we thought we should have made. Uh, we know it's going to be a, you know, a grind-out football game and just told the guys we got to go out in the second half and, and really have our mind on what we need to do to get it done. And it's going to be about mindset. Just continue to play with great effort, and the ball will eventually start bouncing our way. 
Coach, throw some names at you. Stellar night by Ben and Chaney on the ground on the offensive side. As I said earlier, Benjamin Harris, Caleb Carter, Tamara Spitz, uh, Smith on the defensive side. They all came to play, and you had some other guys that really came to play. Well, you're right, but you named some guys right there that had an impact on the game, and that's what it's going to take. We're, we're a close team, and and we play team football. Our offense com uh, is compatible to our defense. We sort of understand when we get turnovers that the offense got to turn into seven points. When one is going slow, the other one got to just keep grinding until, until the other one can catch up. And you know, it's about having each other's back. It's not gonna always go clean. It's not gonna always go your way, but you got to somehow find a way. And I thought we did that on Saturday night. Well, Coach, let's jump into the second half highlights from the SU PV 2019 football game on the bluff and show the folks what happened. Here's a great stop by Joe Davis, Coach. He is a mountain of a man. Well, you know, Joe is playing some of the best football in our conference this year, and I'm glad to see that in his senior year. Mackey runs one for eight, and then unfortunately, Skelton throws a pick six. The Panthers take it to the house. Scores 14-14 at this juncture. We get the ball back. Ben rushes for 10. Skelton's going to rip one off for 14. And then Washington's going to run one for 19. Washington really had a good night for you, Coach. He's been a steady performer for us on offense. Skelton's going to come back, Coach, after this play and hit Bedford for 17. And then we're going to actually get on the scoreboard again with a... Uh, field goal from 44 from Fontenot. Score is going to be 17-14 at this juncture. But that was actually Barajas kicking that one. Is that right? Yes, sir. Okay. They get the ball back. Nice pass breakup right there by Benjamin Harris. Here you have a good block by Caldwell, coach. He was an active young man all night. Well, you know, he actually came to the sideline and told coach, he said, I can get there and just call it. And um, what an impact play on the game. Skelton takes one in from five. Jaguars up at this point, 24-14. They unfortunately come back and hit a nice 47-yard touchdown. Scores 24-21 Jaguars at this juncture. Coach, another good return by your special team player, Chaney. Yeah, it's probably, you know, I tell you, he, he had a really good game, Todd, and I think his it's, it's pivotal when we said special teams will go out to impact the game and boy, what a day to pick it. Young man who was grinding it out for you all night. Ben rushes for 13, then Skelton's going to get him one for 18, then Ben busts one for 29. And this may be the play of the year for the Jaguars as he bucks the young man and gets into the end zone. Jaguars are on the move right here, 31 to 21. They unfortunately come back with a nice big play, Coach. Again, I was saying it was like two heavyweights fighting out there, uh, play for play out there. Well, in the fourth quarter, you know, it's going to be a tough football game. You got to close it out. Uh, what a resilient bunch of guys we have, and they was able to hold them off and, and really play well in that fourth quarter to give ourselves a victory. 31-28 at this juncture. Another great return by Chaney, Coach. I think you found the right guy. Sweet little run right here by Skelton as he skips over a guy and kept, gets five on the ground, then ultimately hits Bedford. Uh, then he's going to come back, and we're going to get another field goal to put the uh, score at 34-28. We get a nice kickoff right here. Great coverage by the kickoff team. Yes, sir. Excellent coverage by the kickoff team. Good pass blocked by Ivy there. And then, Coach, that's the ball game. Great fourth Great down win. stop. 34-28, the Jaguars beat the Prairie View Panthers. Take control of the SWAC Western Division. When we come back, we'll have the Alpha Media Players of the Week and the Coca-Cola Players interview when we come back on the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Diseases from smoking kill more African Americans each year than car crashes, AIDS, and murders combined. In the U.S., about one in five African American adults smoke cigarettes. It's estimated that each cigarette you smoke shortens your life by seven minutes. That's seven minutes less to spend time with people you love doing what you love each time you smoke a cigarette. Is it worth it? Smoking 
affects us all. Where your seafood comes from has everything to do with its flavor, its quality, and even its safety. Cheap imported seafood raised in ponds overseas has nothing on the incredible flavor and quality of the fresh fish, shrimp, crabs, and oysters caught right here in Louisiana waters. We all know that the best dishes are made with the best ingredients, and Louisiana seafood is the best you can buy. So know what you're buying and make sure you're serving delicious Louisiana seafood. Because when you know better, you eat better. Hi, I'm Coach Dawson Odoms. And if you're looking for a great new or used car, Jerry Lane Chevrolet invites you to come and check them out. Whatever your taste in vehicle is, they got a great lineup to fit your style. And most importantly, your budget. Personally, they're taking care of me with this great truck. I'm a big guy. And this a big truck. It's roomy and comfortable. And it has to get up and go when I need to get up and go. So remember, whatever your taste in vehicles, come visit us at Jerry Lane Chevrolet. Go Jags! Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms, where we come to you each Monday about 6.30ish from Hollywood Casino, Coming to the center stage, and you can catch the show shot live. We're located at 1717 River Road, and we invite you to come out and talk some SU football. Coach, of course, every week in this part of the show, we have our Alpha Media Players of the Week. Who were the Alpha Media Players of the Week? On offense, it was uh, Devon Ben, who turned in another great ground performance. On defense, it was Tamari Smith, who had an outstanding game. And on special teams, it was Christopher Chaney. Those are Alpha Media Players of the Week. Great, great choices there, Coach. After the game, Joe Dupree and I caught up with a couple of the players, and uh, Joe filed this Coca-Cola player interview. Well, Todd, it was a very grimy game tonight, but the Jaguars came out victorious. One of the reasons is because our defense played lights out. Three big-time goal line stance and one of the individuals with eight tackles. Benjamin Harris, better known as BJ, how did you feel tonight playing against the Panthers? It was, it was a pretty, like you said, it was a pretty grimy game. We just kind of come out there and just do what we had to do. Our backs was against the wall a couple of times. And we just had to play Jaguar football. Well, you played a safety position, and I know there were definitely some passes going your way, but you broke them up a few times. So looking at that as we move forward, can we continue this pace as we continue to play? Yes, sir. We just got to come out um, every, every day and practice and just practice like we want it. We're going to get it. We're here with our quarterback, Ladarius Skelton. And Ladarius, man, what a game tonight. Of course, once again, you showed up and showed out. One rushing touchdown, one passing touchdown. Timing seems to be an issue. Talk about that. How is it looking as you start to adjust with the timing of some of your receivers? Uh, just being <clears throat> just a little, you know, mismatch with the receivers, going back and forth, being up in the pocket and not being able to see them. You know, being the vision with the low line, moving in my way. You know, I just had to pull it down and get what I can get. And you definitely did that. Look, we look great tonight. This was a grimy game, a hard-fought game. But the Jaguars came out with a win, and you led them all the way. So let's talk about it. as we continue to move on. What can we expect from the Jaguars? Uh, we, whatever. <laughs> we're going to work hard. We're going to continue to work hard. We're going to have to do what we got to do when we get on the field. Also, I want to close out with this. Ladarius, look, man, you're getting to be the man here at Southern, doing big things. Just tell the people how does it feel to be a Jaguar, my friend. Yeah, it's good to be a Jaguar. <laughs> here with Divine Ben. And Divine, I don't know how they told him how to tackle in Texas, but you definitely tonight showed him how we run in Louisiana. Listen, great run, probably one of the best runs of the year where you just stood up a guy and said, this is not how you handle me. Great night tonight, great yardage tonight. How does it feel running in between the tackle? Because the running game for Southern seems to be on right now. Um, it was big. My offensive line, they came out and had a great night again, um, just opening up holes for us and letting us, as the backs, make plays. And they did that, and we made our plays that we had to make. Last time I interviewed you, we spoke about that, about how the offensive line has been blocking. Listen, man, you're gashing them. You're gashing them for five, six, seven, eight, nine, and like tonight, great run. As we continue to move on, can we sustain this as we move on in the SWAC? Uh, that's going to be the plan. We, we got to start a ground game, man. It starts through our own line, so we're going to go as far as they go. So last but not least, since we started off about this is how you tackle and this is how you run, 
How did that touchdown feel? It felt great. That was a big momentum swing for the game, too. Um, our sideline went crazy after, and it was just a big momentum change for us. Well, you heard it right here, Todd, on the Jaguar Football Show. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Devon. Thank you, Ladarius. And thank you, B.J. Harris. All had great games on uh, that night. Coach, got to wrap up this game and just tell you, I really thought this was a statement game for the Jaguars. And the statement was, we're going to hit you, and we're going to hit you again, and we're going to keep hitting you until the whistle blows. Well, great physicality was on display Saturday, and we knew it was got to be a physical football game. And we're just trying to get our football team to the next level. And I think we took another step forward. Uh, got a huge challenge coming up, but I was pleased with the effort that our guys had on display this past Saturday. Any injuries, Coach, that we have uh, coming out of this game? Yeah, we got some injuries. Uh, we got a couple guys that will be banged up. Uh, there will be game time decisions. Uh, but I don't think nobody's out for the year. We should get some back if they're not able to go this week, next week. Okay. When we come back, we're going to look ahead to our next SWAC game in Dallas, Texas, the State Fair Classic again against Texas Southern. Stay with us on the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Can you imagine winning 50 times the cash from the lottery? Imagine 50 times anything. Throw pillows? Is the guy... Shh. He's there. Multiply whatever. Play the new multiplier games from the lottery. Multiply your fun. <laughs> Hey, where's everybody going? This game's not over, so we're not the best. Our kicker stubbed his toe on the ball, and pretty sure our mascot has this costume on backwards. But this, this is our team. No matter what. Come play like a star, where the rewards and thrills never end at Hollywood Casino. Eat, play, and win big from our epic buffet, open from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. every day, to our awesome Players Club that gives you the most back. Come and play the hot new $64,000 Hollywood High Low Game on Fridays from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. You could be called to play. Just guess if the next card will be higher or lower, and you could win. Only at Hollywood Casino, Baton Rouge. Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Of course, we want to invite you out uh, to the Hollywood Casino 25th anniversary celebration. Uh, you can go to their website, find out all the details on November 3rd or on Eventbrite where all the details will be. Coach, we've got to turn our attention to our next SWAC Western Division game as we travel back to Dallas to play the Texas Southern Tigers this weekend. The Tigers come in at 0-6 on the season, and they're coming off a 23-20 loss to Missouri S&T this past weekend. Tough sledding for the Tigers. Yeah, you know, sometimes when you're in that, in that rut, you just, you just keep getting deeper and deeper, but don't let that record fool you. They've been in some close ball games. They lost in overtime to Alabama and m They just lost another close one. I think Missouri S&T were a 5-1 and one football team. So they, they have some things that they can do, and they're doing very well. Offensively, they're very explosive. Uh, defensive, they keep the ball in front of them, and they play really good run defense. So... Uh, they got a they got a process and they're following that process. The ball hasn't bounced their way, but we're going to Dallas and this will be a this will be a tough opponent because they played everybody tough. Coach, the Tigers are having some struggles, but they've also got a new coach. Who is that new coach? And tell us a little bit about what he likes to do. Uh, coach McKinley, he's coming from Power Five football and. Uh, special teams is his background, but you can see the difference in their football team. Very talented at rod receiver. I think we say that every week. Every offense that, that we have in the SWAC are pretty explosive. I think they're averaging right around 
25, 27 points a game. Uh, you just got to play well. You got to go in there. You got to be focused. You got to be locked in. And you got to have the right mindset. Coach, State Fair Classic last year, not a big crowd. Uh, how did you like playing in the Cotton Bowl, the venerable Cotton Bowl? And how did you like that Dallas trip? You know, I think it gives us a chance to, to showcase our, our program again to a lot of people who may not have a chance to see it week in and week out. It's a great recruiting tool. Texas football is great. Uh, the city of Dallas and surrounding area of Fort Worth got some really good football players. And, you know, it just give us a chance to go somewhere else and, and brand our, showcase our brand to the, to the people that may not get a chance to see it often. Well, I'm sure the Jaguar Nation is curious as to whether it'll be renewed or if we'll be going back to Houston where most of the Jaguar Nation wants to go. When we come back, we're going to close out this week's edition of the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. <laughs> Diseases from smoking kill more African Americans each year than car crashes, AIDS, and murders combined. In the U.S., about one in five African American adults smoke cigarettes. It's estimated that each cigarette you smoke shortens your life by seven minutes. That's seven minutes less to spend time with people you love doing what you love each time you smoke a cigarette. Is it worth it? Smoking affects us all. Where your seafood comes from has everything to do with its flavor, its quality, and even its safety. Cheap imported seafood raised in ponds overseas has nothing on the incredible flavor and quality of the fresh fish, shrimp, crabs, and oysters caught right here in Louisiana waters. We all know that the best dishes are made with the best ingredients, and Louisiana seafood is the best you can buy. So know what you're buying and make sure you're serving delicious Louisiana seafood. Because when you know better, you eat better. Hi, I'm Coach Dawson Odoms. And if you're looking for a great new or used car, Jerry Lane Chevrolet invites you to come and check them out. Whatever your taste in vehicle is, they got a great lineup to fit your style. And most importantly, your budget. Personally, they're taking care of me with this great truck. I'm a big guy. And this a big truck. It's roomy and comfortable. And it has to get up and go when I need to get up and go. So remember, whatever your taste in vehicles, come visit us at Jerry Lane Chevrolet. Go Jags! Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Coach, we're heading up to the Dallas State Fair Classic, the largest state fair in the world or for definitely for America. Uh, do you go and you eat some of those fried Oreos and fried cookies and fried ice cream and stuff? No, I, I've never had that, but if any alumni or boosters that'll be at the State Fair would love to bring Coach Odoms a fried Oreo, I'm quite sure he would like that. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> Hook the coach up. All right, Coach, we'll go get that second SWAC win of the season. And, of course, we'll see you next week on the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Odoms. Go Jags!